Hello everybody, Olaf here, and today I am outside. I'm out enjoying the very, very, really beautiful weather that we are having. Um, it's like in the mid-70s, light breeze gusting up to about 15 miles an hour. But I wanted to come out here today and do an update for you guys and let you, and, and really kind of test out um, the full-on two mic, one camera portable system. Uh, both mics are on mic stands about an arm, a little more than an arm's width away from me. Um, they are both in shock mounts with, um, with fur windscreens. Um, the camera is set way back. Uh, both, both are going into a mixer and then into a recorder. Um, so basically this is helping pick up, you know, uh, deal with the wind, which is, is, there is wind right now. In case you're not believing me, yeah, I just kind of slopes off to the side here. Um, but I mean, this is a really good test place for this type of thing because yes, we've got the wind, we've got the leaves rustling. We actually have an interstate, um, basically two two streets away. There's our street, another row of houses, and uh, two more rows of houses. Uh, a, ma a fairly major road, and then the out, to, and then you're out to the interstate. So you've got that traffic that's also being uh, needing to be dealt with and stuff like that. And really, this is kind of a test run for me to see how well I can dial in everything and how well we can pick up audio outside, so that we can start doing outside shots and we can start doing more in-depth things. Um, not just like, the gameplay and stuff like that, though it is fun and I enjoy it, I want to do more. Um, true, to every, true to just about every, every person who's ever, ever done anything on YouTube, I want to do more. You start off really small and really simple. You start off with doing, hell, I started off with doing just a basic video blogs, and that was fun, and then I wanted to do more. I wanted more stuff, I wanted more challenge I wanted more of everything so here I am now with two shotgun mics pointed at me plus a camera um, sitting outside testing everything out for you guys hopefully getting ready to do more more grandiose things but with this setup also um, takes me one step closer to where I want Olaf productions to be to go get to. And where I wanted to get to get to from the beginning, really, and that was people have an eye. A lot of people have ideas as far as well. They want to do something. They want to do a, a. They have an idea for a video, but they don't have the equipment. They don't have the the, the editing software, the editing know-how. They don't have a lot of this. They don't have what's needed, but they have the idea. And that's really what I wanted Olaf Productions to become from the beginning was something to help get those people, for those people to get their ideas out and help kind of say, hey, we have the equipment, we have the editing software, we have the editing know-how, we can work with you on this and we can help you produce what you want to eventually do. And one of the big things with that is, is not only are we helping other, would be, we be helping other people out with creating their dreams and their ideas, but also we could teach them, hey, this is the type of setup that you really want for doing an outdoor shot, or this is the type of thing you want if you want to do stuff in front of a green screen. You don't have to go out and spend thousands and thousands and millions of dollars on big name Hollywood stuff. I, I, I don't know how much I total I have spent on all of this, but it wasn't that much. Each, each mic was about 25 bucks. The stands were 25 bucks. Both shock mounts, uh, plus the fur windscreen and everything, I think both of them together was a total of $30? No, not even that, $20. Because it was $15 for the housings, and then $5 for like a foot of black fur cloth. Um, the camera was kind of expensive. The mixer was, I think, uh, it was under $100. But all of the stuff that I'm using 
all of the stuff that I use on an almost daily basis and the tree is shedding on me. It's totally not fair, dude. And that was a pretty good sized gust. I mean, that's like got the, the, the mics kind of wavering a bit. So that may actually be picking up more than it more than I want it to, but it's unavoidable with 15 mile per hour gust. Um, but it's like the green screen, I think, was $35. It's 10 by 10. Um, I did splurge a bit on the lights because those are two LED shop lights. So that's probably, uh, I think those, both of them together were $100. But they light everything from not that, you know, you don't have to have them pointed directly at you. They light the subject and the green screen well. Um, but yeah. You don't have to, you know, I, I want to help people with their dreams and also show them that you don't need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to do this. You don't need the, you know, you, you really don't need the Hollywood money to come up with a video idea, to come up with daily episodes, to come up with, hell, you, look at Lloyd Kaufman and trauma videos. Um, I met him last year at Indie PopCon. I'm looking forward to seeing him again this year at Indie PopCon. But he made Troma, Stu Troma Entertainment or Troma Studios. And that they, they have made so many movies. They are big name movie makers. But they're not Hollywood. Oh, it, everything has to... We have to spend thousands of dollars and millions of dollars on this. No, you don't. He hired regular people for parts instead of, oh, well, we want somebody who looks perfect, who's, you know, got the perfect manly build or perfect womanly build and everything about them is perfect. And if it's not perfect, we'll send them, we'll hire them anyway and we'll send them off to perfect them. No. He, he hired normal everyday people. And that's something that a lot of people need to realize is with YouTube. Yes, you can do stuff like this with just regular people, regular everyday people without breaking the bank. But anyway, that is more than enough time for me rambling on about this and as far as the test for the mics and everything. As always, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. Cheerio!